Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we have an important topic to discuss. Article 16 of the Indian Constitution. Article 16 is all about ensuring equality of opportunity in matters related to public employment. So let's dive into it. Article 16 is a crucial part of the Indian Constitution and it lays down the principles of equality when it comes to government jobs. Let's break down the key points. Firstly, Article 16 ensures that there is equal opportunity for all citizens in matters related to employment or appointment to any office under the state. This means, regardless of your background, everyone has a fair chance at government jobs. Secondly, this article explicitly states that no citizen can be ineligible for or discriminated against in employment or office under the state based on religion, race, caste, sex, descent, place of birth or residence. This is a powerful tool against discrimination. Now let's talk about residence. While there is a call for equal opportunity, parliament can make laws specifying residence requirements for certain jobs. This ensures a balance between opportunities and local considerations. Moving on, Article 16 allows the state to reserve appointments or posts for backward classes of citizens. This is aimed at addressing the underrepresentation of certain groups in government services. Not just in initial appointments, Article 16 also allows for reservations in promotions. Scheduled castes and scheduled tribes can be given reserved promotions if they are not adequately represented in higher positions. Article 16 introduces an interesting provision. Unfilled reserve positions from one year can be considered separately in next year. This helps in maintaining balance without exceeding the overall 50% reservation limit. Now here is an exception. Article 16 does not affect laws stating that certain jobs in religious institutions should be held by a people of a particular religion. It respects the autonomy of these institutions. Finally, in addition to existing reservations, the state can also reserve jobs for economically weaker sections, subject to a maximum of 10% of post in each category. This is a step towards addressing the economic disparities. So let's wrap up our discussion on Article 16 of the Indian Constitution. It's a powerful tool for ensuring equality and addressing the historical imbalances in government services. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.